last Wednesday, April 26th, we interviewed the women's tennis coach about the team's successful season and the team's future outlook. I think it's good. I mean, obviously, that was a tough loss Saturday. Um, you know, we put ourselves in excellent position to win the match. Uh, it was a tough environment, but we've got to do a better job of closing out when we can and having everyone step up and play well in that situation, not just, uh, you know, a few of the players. And we played great doubles. Um, several of the players stepped up and played excellent singles. We've got to get everyone to, to step up and play well at the same time, and that'll, that'll take care of itself there. Tournament standpoint, you know, we're definitely ready to go. As a 2C, we have a bye the first round, which is going to help us physically. Um, but uh, you know, I think we're, we're obviously happy to be in this situation. You know, we were picked to finish fifth at the start of the season, and I don't think anyone really thought we would be in this situation except for us. So you know, we're definitely uh, ready to go. I don't know if we overachieved. I think, um, I think based on other people's expectations, yes. Uh, I think based on our expectations, you know, our, you know, we, we, our, our goal was always you know, to win the tournament, you know, to win, win the MAC, MAC regular season, and to win, win the, uh, the MAC tournament. That's, that's our goal every year. Um, so now I'll say based on, you know, I, I honestly thought we were maybe one year away from really doing both of those things. And this year we were going to try and take that next step and get to the semis, maybe get to the finals. Uh, so I think we, we've definitely stepped up and that's a credit to our coaching staff and to our players. Um, so I think that we definitely took a huge step forward this year and but that being said we're in position and we need to take advantage of that right now. Yeah, we lose uh, Shannon and uh, Carolina this year and we've got three players coming in next year so we're definitely putting you know in, in position to take not just another run at it but to really take control I think of the Mac and that's that's our focus at this point you know we you know, it's nice to be in this position right now, but we don't want to do this every few years. We want to be in this position every year, and that's, that's the focus, that's the goal, and you know, we're setting ourselves up nicely to, to do that. I mean, realistically, I think we have, I mean, I think that, that list is very, very deep. Um, if you look at the roster, you look at the results of this team, I mean, you know, yes, Ariadna and and Sophia playing at the, at the top of the lineup again this year, um, you know, their, their results are very strong again, but you know, they've had to maintain that, and that's not easy, so they have improved, both of them. Um, but you also have, have you know, people like Shannon going undefeated in conference play and going undefeated you know, up until the last match and going undefeated up and through the whole season up until this past match during the spring. That's certainly a huge improvement. Um, Luisa's gotten much better with her game getting stronger, getting more powerful. And I think you've got a long list of players that have constantly improved. Carly's gotten much better from a single standpoint. You know? So we're definitely, uh, I think that, again, that, uh, that list goes roster deep. And there's not really one person, I think, that, that we can look at that says, you know, that we say is the most improved player right now because it really is a team effort at this point.